Hello everyone, today I will explain to you all how to fill in the Excel file for Migrations SQL Accounting Master Data. First is General Ledger Chart of Account. You can refer to the notes here to list which account types this account belongs to and whether there is a special account tab. If you need us to help migrate Chart of Account info, you must provide us complete Chart of Account. In Excel file, the title with yellow highlight must be Fill in Information. If you don't have any idea about the chart of account, you originally had a complete chart of account in SQL. You can use that directly or if you have anything to add later, you can add it yourself. Next is Customer Master, the part of the customer information. There is no need to fill in the code, our system will arrange the number according to the first letter of the customer name. Control account is 300000 according to the account number in our original chart of account in SQL. Then is company name. And if there is a company name too, for example like old company name or company Chinese name, or intend to classify customer to different category, area, agents, business nature, can provide us with this information. At the same time, you can attach the customer credit terms credit limits, overdue limits, currency code, and so on. If you have price tax, tax, registration number, remarks, and other information to be supplemented, you can attach it together. Next is customer billing address. If the customer address is too long, the customer address needs to be divided into address line 1, line 2, line 3, and line 4. As well as attention, phone number, fax number, email. Then B address is given if the billing address and delivery address are different or other branch, branch address need to be migrated together. You can fill in here. It also includes branch attention, branch phone, branch fax, and branch email. After migrate into SQL, it will be shown like this. Customer company name, control account, customer code, address, attention, phone, email, area, agent, currency, credit terms, and also their delivery address. Supplier Master is all about the supplier information. It will appear like this after migrating to SQL. Then when you come to stock group sections, you can classify stock item into different group. Stock group code description needs to be filled in and which jail account code the stock group belongs to. There are sales code, cashier's code, sales return code, purchase code, purchase return code respectively. Also, which costing method is used by this stock group. You can refer to the notes on the right and fill in the number corresponding to the costing method. Either 0, 1 or 2. After migrating to SQL, it will look like this. Stock group code, description, costing method, and also their GR account code. The parts of the stock list is that all buying and selling stock item information need to be recorded here, such as stock item code, description. Then depending on which stock group code it belongs to, put T if there is a stock control or put F if it does not. And the same for serial number. If there is a remark 1 or remark 2, minimum quantity, maximum quantity, reorder level, reorder quantity, you can fill it. Next is UOM. What is the unit of measurement for this stock item? And the corresponding rate and reference cost and reference price. If there is more than one UOM, please proceed to record in UOM2. It will be shown like this after migrate into SQL. Stock item code, description, item group, base URM, reference cost and reference price. 
Last but not least, remember that the parts of the yellow highlight title is all required information. That's all. Thank you.